Hi guys, Robert Groove user here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about adding text and icons to your Groove Pages website and how to format it um, so that you've got a nicely uh, designed, a nice looking, clean website. So let's jump in now. In the last video, if you've been following the sort of mini series that we've done on this website, we're building this, um, this website out and in the last one we put in our images so we've entered all our images throughout the throughout the page it's a one page website so now we want to get in there and start formatting the text making that look, uh, look nice and, and populate it with the text that we we're actually going to use for the website so I've got on my plan you might some of you will already have seen this when we planned out the original website I do this in Google Slides. You can use PowerPoint as well, or you can just use a pen and paper. Um, I've got all of my text that I want on the page uh, laid out in um, in Google Slides so that I can copy and paste across to Groove Pages as and when I need. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and go through and put everything in. So the first thing I want to do is look at this top section here. So we've got a heading and then we're going to have a little intro section. So I'm going to head over here and grab that from my document and paste that in. And also the same with this section here. Paste that in there. Right, and what we're going to do is we are going to change the font so if you look on the right hand side under text this is set to page default so we want to pick our font so let's go with uh let's use this one lato we'll see how that looks and then underneath there you've got the weight so that's how thick it is you've got normal bold and soon as this is a, a the main title let's go black on that nice and thick and then this underneath text, we will go, we'll keep the same font, so it's consistent. And we'll just go normal on the weight. Now, obviously, you can't see that very well against the image on the background. So I'm going to go up until I'm on the actual container of the text, which we've got there. We can see this down the bottom, container. And what I want to do is put a background color to that container. So over here, we're going to put back, click background. And under the color, we're going to just put a uh, let's put a black background, and you see it's come up completely black. Under here, I just want to slide this transparency slider up to probably around about fifty percent. Uh, yeah, let's go fifty percent. See how that looks. And then the text, we're going to change the text color to white. There we go. And again, I've got the whole container uh, selected so that it does both of those lots of text, the heading and the paragraph. OK, so that's a start there. I'm still on the container, so I want to give it a bit of space inside the uh, box, but outside of the text. So I'm going to go down to spacing and I'm going to select all four of the padding controls and I'm going to slide that up. And we'll go up to, let's say, 1.5. That'll be fine. And then the border, I want this to have a curved, these curved corners, rounded corners. And the same as we've done with our images, I'll go to 0.5. Just like that. And I think actually on the background, we can go a little bit darker. We'll go up to... Let's take that to 30%. So that lets the text stand out a bit more. Now I'm going to click on this text container here because this title from for my liking is too close to the um to the text underneath. So I'm going to give that some spacing as well. And again, I will use, or this time I'm going to use margin. And I'm going to slide that up. That's going to push that text away from it. Something like that. And then you can see the bottom of my uh, background um, box is, is dropping off there. That's because the size of this block is fixed. 
So I need to change that to auto. So that will change with it because we fixed it when we were putting in the original uh, background. We just put, put a gray background in and I just made it a little bit bigger so you could see what was there. So that's that. And with this text, I think we will break it up. We had it broken up here. I think it hasn't maintained the formatting. So we'll just break it up here. Um, there and there. And then we'll give these middle two, the middle two of the four boxes, some spacing above and below them as well. Point seven five looks good. We'll do the same to this one. There we go. And I think we'll maybe give a little bit more padding at the bottom of this. There we go. Just like that. So that's our top section uh, done. So then we'll move on to the next section. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to have, I think, the same kind of thing. We might have this uh, this black box behind it. So let's go to the uh, let's go to the container. We'll set the background to black, and we'll do that thirty so it matches the other one. Then we will. Give it some padding. We're going to make that uh, quite a large text in there, so we might need to adjust that in a second. Let's click on the text and we will change the font to the same font. We'll go black. So it's the thick one. We're not talking about black, the color, it's like the, the, the depth of it, the, the thickness of the actual font. Uh, let's go for something like that Let's just make sure with our plan that we're following it now this is the actual text we're going to put in there it may have gone too big there so we can always change that let's just bring that down a touch i should like it over two lines and just so that this breaks a little bit better we're going to give some padding to the sides that will bring the text in slightly something like that and then we'll make the text uh, white as well there we go and because this is too close to there we need to give that whole container some more spacing at the top so if we go margin we can move that, slide that down. That way it's separate from the uh, the introduction. What we might do is bring this one up a little bit because it's looking a little bit small now. In fact, we haven't set the text size yet. So let's bring that up there like that. And we'll leave that like that. And the other thing, just to match up, to keep our styling consistent, we'll select this uh, container and we're going to put our rounded corners on just to keep everything matching up okay then we're on to our features let's just save this so we've got three different features which are so step one step two and step three so this the idea is we make it as easy as one two three to get the display so step one let's go and say step one in here so let's just do just change that like that There we go. And let's put in this text underneath. Paste that in there. Same for step two. And same for step three. I hope you can see as well why it's worth doing one of these plans because if you have everything 
um, sort of figured out beforehand, you can just actually populating it and making it look good is, the, is kind of the easy bit, really. So we're also going to have three icons up here. Um, so the way we changed, if you remember when we brought these in, we used the icon from the elements uh, tab, which is down here, uh, where in, under media, where it says icon. We drag that in and it, by default, it gives a question mark. So we want to change that to something relevant to this, um, to this step. So it's contact us. So let's have a look. If you, once you've got the icon uh, selected, click configure. And then you can either search by text to so say you wanted a, a check mark. You can do check and it comes up with anything relevant or you can just scroll through and uh, just choose any of these really. So I want to try and find something that's relevant to the, to the step that we're taking. So uh, let's have a look. Maybe what we're talking about, contact us. So perhaps something like this, comment. So we select it. You don't need to change anything else in here. When you click update, if you look over here at this question mark, it's going to change. And it's now the, um, the little comment uh, bubble. And then we're going to select this container. So it's the left hand column. We're going to give it the same 30% black background and we're going to give ourselves the um, the border it matches up and we're also going to give it some padding on the inside and we're going to adjust that again in a minute once we change the text let's make that text um, Let's get the right font, make the weight black, and I think the color we're going to go for the same green as the logo, which I've got in my slide. I've got the hex code here, which I can just select there, click on this, and I can paste that in there and click tick. It gives me my green text, and I can bring the size up to where I want it. Let's go something like three. And then this text here is going to be in the same font. We're going to go normal. Let's make it white. And something like that, 1.5. And the last thing we need to change is that icon. Again, this is changed by, you click on the icon, click on text, and then you can change the color in there. Let's go white with that. And again, we'll change the size a little bit. Let's make it something that really jumps out. 4.5. We can try that for now. See how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, what we can do if we want to save restyling each of these two, we can just drag these these elements here, duplicate them, and drag them over. So sometimes that can that can save you time. So I'll actually do that here. I know I've already pasted in the text, but we'll we'll do that in this case. So what we'll do first is I'm just going to set the backgrounds of these and then the borders. There we go. And then I'm just going to check 1.75 we did as the padding. Like that. And then we'll do the same for that one. So click on background, click on color, black. 30%. Click on border 0.5 for the corner radius and the spacing. We select all four of the inner padding and we go up to 1.75. Right, and then the next thing we're going to click on our icon, click duplicate, which is this top left. Uh, we've got the three icons, it's the left hand one, and then we can just drag that across into that container. In fact, what we'll do first is we'll get rid of the ones that are in there. There we go. We'll duplicate that one. Drag it across. 
and we'll duplicate this one and do the same. And we'll do the same for the last one as well. Let's duplicate them all quickly here. Let's get rid of these. You can do this either way. Some sometimes it's quicker to uh, to duplicate, and sometimes it's just as quick just to create it again from uh, from scratch. So you need to just really see what what works best for you, really, and how how fast you work. But I'm showing you this as a you know a different option you can use. It can save you time in some cases. Um, other cases you may find that it actually takes you a bit longer. So I just need to change these. Step two, step three, and then now we need to go over and paste those back in. Step two. And step three. There we go. And this is just dropped. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it with the layout, or if you now they've got this uh, drag and drop system, you can grab the handles and pull it down, and that'll be in the right place, just like that. So that's their main message. So let's just save that. Now we can go down to services, which we've got here. So we changed this a little bit. Now we're going to have a little uh, title at the top of each one. Just under the image so they know what it is so we're going to take this text copy go back over paste that in there and we'll do the same for this one and then this one here Okay. Now, what we're going to do is put our uh, little heading in there. So we're going to Elements, and we're going to drag in this text just in here, and that's going to be our title for that section. And what I want to do with the text, I want it to be centered. Uh, that one's already centered. This is a new one. Right, so color wise, I want to select the other color of the company, which is a purple. So I've got that in here, the hex code again. So I'm going to select that. So I'm in the text. You can check down here on the text block. I want to change it to our font that we're using because it's a, a title. We're going to use the black weight of font. Uh, we're going to change the color. I'm going to put the hex code in there, paste it in. And then the other thing is we're just going to change the size. And we're going to go something like that, 1.875. Let's leave it at that for now. And then this one under here, we're going to go change the font to uh, Lato. And we're going to select normal weight and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. On the title, we're going to give it a little bit more space. So we'll give it a margin at the bottom, which will push that text away from it underneath, just like that. And this is quite tight here. So we might look at the line height. So it's a space between each line of text. I think if we change that and then we bring that down to one, I think that looks quite good. The other thing is this text is sort of coming out quite far to the edge. So what I might do is click on the container and just give it a little bit of padding left and right just to neaten it up a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, 0.75. That's fine. Uh, 
Okay. So we can now copy this, duplicate it. So that was the little symbol here, the little duplicate symbol. Then we can click and drag that across to our other, um, other service in the middle. We can do the same again. Duplicate. And then click and drag. So we've got it over there. And then, again, you can choose whether to duplicate this as it is or just redo it, you know, change the settings again. I'm just going to change the settings again. So I'm just going to make sure that I do that spacing. So I've got 0.75 on each on the padding. And I'm just going to make sure I change that to the same font. And we change the line height as well to normal. And then we just need to change the title of the service, which was that one. There we go. And then we can do the same with this one. Paste that in there. Do the same again. Add the padding. And also the font for that as well. And the line height, normal. And there we go, that's those top three done. The other thing we need to do is we need to do the same for the bottom. So what I'll do is quickly change each of these three. So I have the 0.75 padding either side. So it matches up, keep everything consistent. The other way you could do this as well is ordinarily if I was creating a site um, from scratch, slightly different doing a demo, I would have made these three uh, and get my spacing as I want and then duplicate this whole container up here and bring it down here like we did in the in the previous video. But obviously we've changed things a little bit with adding the, adding the extra uh, titles in and things like that. So a couple of ways you can do it, either just go through one by one and change them or get a whole row when you're dealing with columns, format your row completely and then go up so you've got the, uh, the container that that's in. So here would be the layout, the three by three. Um, duplicate that and then put it down here and then just make your text changes. So we're just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to duplicate that one. Bring them in one at a time. There, and I want to do the same with the title. So we duplicate, we use the crosshair, drag down, and we'll do the same here with delete. So it's the little trash icon. Do the same with both of these. We're not losing anything here because time-wise, because we've already um, we already had to paste in our uh, titles anyway. So just drag that across, duplicate that, drag it across, and the same again. Just duplicate both. I can just drag them in, make sure they go in the right place. Like so, and then we've just got a paste in. There we go. Okay, so that's all in there. So just make sure you're happy with how it's all looking. The only other thing we'll do is this title here. And we'll do that one in the same font. And I'll go in the black. 
bring the size up something like that give it some space underneath so we'll give it a bit of margin to push the services down there we go and then we can choose if we wanted to give that a color we could um I think we will add a color in there let's try the green maybe make that a touch bigger there we go so that's all looking quite nice let's just click save now one other thing while we're formatting most of these images are quite dark if you've got some that are quite light you might want to add a small shadow outside or a border i'll show you how to do both anyway so if you wanted a border you click on the image under border we've already done the corner but we would use it down here you click on depending on whether you want it at the top at the bottom on the left or on the right any of you that have used excel will, will know how this this kind of thing works or this one is all four sides so we'll click on that one then you give it a width and it's a width in pixels so let's say we give it a three pixel width you can see that's added that to it now and then you can choose the color you can have whatever color you want um so if i wanted to put the same green i'm just saying that because i know i've got it in the clipboard click on that and that's now given it a green border um so that's one way of doing it so that's under border so it's the all four sides which will ask you to give it a weight thickness and then a color now if you want to get rid of that you just click the cross there's no border the other option is to do a drop shadow so under shading click shadow and you've got different um, types of shadow down here something maybe something like an excel see how that's dropped that little shadow in behind it we've got different ones something like that so let's say we'll do that for each one of ours do the md so what i'm trying to do is show you as many of the features as i can but only keeping them relevant to what we're doing really because uh, i don't want to bombard you with uh, information the most important thing is to actually start using it playing around with it and start to build your sites um so you know that looks that's just lifted those very slightly it's very subtle but it does work okay so that's that section we're happy with that let's save again now on to the form i'm not going to cover actually uh, setting up the form in terms of making it function in this video that's a separate video because that needs uh, quite a bit of explanation on its own and i don't want to get off on that track in this video this one is all about putting in your text and formatting it so uh, you know making it look nice so let's look at this we want to put in on our form some text in here we didn't put it in at the beginning because we didn't really know what it was going to say uh, contact us to discuss your requirements and then an instruction telling you what to do with the form basically so let's do that so first of all we're going to pull in uh, an element which is going to be text top here and then we can put on this title here contact us to discuss your requirements and then i think we'll put another line of text underneath so we'll just duplicate that and we're going to have this text here now this one's going to be more of a title so we'll click it under text we'll set the select the font and we'll go black because we're doing now keeping things consistent let's make this quite big something like that and we can put this in the let's go for the purple for this one we've got two colors we're using so we'll click on color click on the little black circle next to the hex code then scroll down and then just in front of the uh, hashtag click the tick paste it in click the tick and then this one here we'll leave it in black but we need to change the font to lato normal 
we will take it up a little bit, I think. Let's just have a look. Something like that. We're going to give this some um, padding, top and bottom. So under spacing. That's going to give it a little bit of room. Something like that. In fact, let's just knock that up one more notch. There we go. So that's that there. Um, these are fine, although I will bring these in a little bit. Let's take the padding off the bottom of that one. Bring that to all three. So that it's obvious where the, uh, what label, what the form is uh, actually doing. And which label relates to which. Um, let's bring that one. Let's give that some more margin at the top. Okay, that works now. That's looking okay. We can always tweak that again later if we need to. Um, but I think for now that's uh, that's okay. Because everything else on the page is curved, we're just going to click on the form container. We'll go border and we'll give it our usual 0.5 rounded corner. And we'll give it our um, medium shadow as well, like we have with other bits. And then the button is going to say request contact. That's what they've asked it to say. So we'll go to configure and the button text. We can just paste that in there. We're going to go through setting up the action of the button, uh, like I say in the other video. So don't worry about that for now. Update that. So let's put our text in there. Now we want to format the text. So we'll click on text, change the font to Lato. We'll go black on the font thickness. We will bump up the size so it's a nice big button. And we'll change the button color to the green. And we can pop that in the actual color of the button on the background, which is here. So you click on background, click on color, click on the little circle next to the hex code. And to use this, if you just wanted to pick a random color, you can drag this around, okay? And if you want to find the range of colors, you just drag left and right. But I, the way I find it is to pick your two, two or three colors you're using in your, uh, your website and have them on your have them on your document so you can just copy and paste them into this hex code when you need um and it's as simple as that really now if you wanted this to if you wanted that button to be rounded you can do the same thing you could have um rounded corners so it matches the rest of our thing you can do the same with the fields if you wanted to just like that okay so that's the form looking nice. As I said, we'll cover the configuration of it in another video, um, and it would be just about setting up the form so that you get email, uh, this information emailed to whichever email address you want it to be sent to, either to yourself or to your clients if you're doing it for other people. And then down here, the testimonials. So we'll do the same as we did before. First thing we'll add is that shadow while we remember. So it was medium shadow. So you click on the image, under shading, shadow, MD, medium, shading, medium. There we go. So that's those done. And then for the uh, testimonials, there's a couple of things you can do. You can just have standard text, or they've got elements in here which are like quotes, um, which is quite nice to use. For the block out exercise we did, I just chucked in some. Uh, some paragraph text, but actually I'll show you this element, which is quite nice. It's, you've got block quote left or block quote right. So let's just take the left hand one and we'll drag that in there. And then we can just delete this one. And in fact, let's just put that in, in each of those. Um, so it's under elements and it's under text and it's block quote left. And we'll do the same for that one. Again, it just shows you another option. 
something else you can use and make it look nice. Now I haven't yet got the text for the uh, testimonials, I don't believe. I don't think we've received that yet. But I will put this, uh, the title here, what our customers say. That's what they want us to put there. Uh, we're going to take this in the same font. Go black on the weight. And then this one is going to be in the purple. So click next to the hex code, scroll down, select it, tick. And then we can just change the size. Something like that. I'm going to give a little bit of space in a margin below this. There we go, like that. And then eventually we would add in the um, the actual quote from the customer and their name. But what we the other thing we are going to add is another little bit of text underneath uh, underneath here, just with this little bit of text to say about their customers. I'm going to change the font, go normal. We're going to change the size. I want this to be centered in this one. And then we're going to give it some margin either side. Let's do it with the padding. We can bring that in. Something like that. And then we can give that a little bit of a margin at the bottom to bring that down. And that's about it. Let's just check. Yeah, let's keep it like that. There we go. And then the last little bit at the bottom, we're going to have, let's just grab my green code. This footer, at the moment we did it grey just for the exercise. So I'm going to click on the block. I click on background, click here, click the hex code, double click, paste that in. There we go. And then the text. It's going to be Lato, it's going to be normal and white. And the size is going to be, let's do it like that. Put one, I'm going to do the same with this. White, and then the size there. And then this is, if you remember, this is a text link, which we got on, from elements down here under buttons, text link. So what we're going to do with that, which again, I'll show you when we did the form, we can put the, this is what's actually displayed. So the actual text. So for instance, contact us uh, via email update and then over here we're going to have the copyright notice down there so we'll paste that in and I think that's everything let's just go in and make sure that's all okay that's all set brilliant eventually they're going to have some social social media links things like that which we can deal with um with putting images in image links or uh, icons but that pretty much is it so let's just go back up to the top and recap what we've done so we've got this this uh, block here the main block it's got a two column layout in it the left hand column which is this one has got a uh, text inside so this is the layout two two so what that means is it's a two by two layout, two uh, two columns. So this one has got our black uh, background. Let's just take, I can see there's some spacing on that. Let's just take that off. 
So that lines up with there now. So this one here has got our black background under here, and it's a 30% tint. So we can still see the image through behind it. This one's got no background, but it's got our logo. And as we scroll down, everything moves, but the image stays in place. Then we've got the same here. We've got this, uh, the text has got the background to it this time. And this one here, actually I can see, see how this is just slightly off. That's the spacing. So I've got some padding in there, which I'll remove. There we go. That's brought it out into line. So you notice these things, it's always good to go back and check um, and just scroll back down and take a look. Uh, so we've got black here. The text box has got a black background, the same. Uh, each of these, the containers within the three, three layout has got a black background. And then we formatted our um, icons with the configure button. And let's just do another one for here. So arrange a suitable time and date for us to come and deliver and install your products. So if we wanted, for instance, a uh, calendar, let's put, um, let's put that one in there update and then let's say sit back and enjoy um maybe let's put a heart something like that update there we go as simple as that so you can find ones that are relevant or you can put images in here if you want but we used icons if you remember we dragged it in um then we set our text sizes um we put in our pad in either side so that our text is nicely in from the edge. And as we come down, we've put in our, our titles. We've put our image drop shadow slightly behind there. So it just lifts it off of the white background. We've put in our extra titles under here and we've put in all our text. Spaced it all out nicely. Then we've formatted the uh, form itself. We've given it the rounded edges. We've done the round edged buttons um, and then we've put in these two extra bits of text and then we've got our sort of testimonial section at the bottom again we've got a title uh, a little bit of blurb there we've put our drop shadow behind our images and then we've just dragged in just to show you something different these uh, quotes so when I get these from the client I would then just populate these with the name and click save or I can knock this name off if they don't want a name on there uh, and that's it. And we've put the copyright down here, uh, a contact us link, which would eventually be linked up to the email address. And that's about it. So the point of this video was to, you know, put in all of our text and format it, make it look nice. And this for me is one of the best parts because this is where it starts to look like a, a real website, if you like. But what I've tried to do with this mini series is to get you to actually be able to build from the ground up. So we're not using any preset, pre-designed templates. Nothing wrong with those, they're fantastic. But I think if you're gonna learn a piece of software, it's really good to be able to, um, or an app or anything like that, it's good to be able to control it and right down to its base level, you know, so if you can build something from scratch, from nothing, you know how all these elements work. Um, I think it puts you in a much better position going forward. So I hope you've liked the video. If you have, give it a like. Feel free to leave us any comments. If you've got anything else you want covered, then uh, just send us an email to info at grooveuser.com. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of other um, how-to videos for not just Groove pages, but Groove funnels tools in general. So subscribe to the channel um, and hit the bell. You'll get notified when we put new videos up. If you haven't yet got your hands on Groove pages, um, then head over to grooveuser.com get your free account there you can you can then get groove pages straight away and some of the other groove funnel softwares all for free um, and there's also some really good uh, other packages with some pretty cool bonuses on so head over and have a look but that's it for now hope you've enjoyed it like i say and i'll see you in the next video take care and i'll see you soon thanks for watching